Hello. So I'm still in Wales. It's still very sunny. I mean, the weather is incredible. And today, I'm gonna go and find some chuffs. Well, fingers crossed. Um, it could be a very short video if I don't find any, but I've been in Pembrokeshire for three, four days now and I've I've seen them pretty much every day, I think. So I've got about two, three hours before I have dinner and a pint, which is gonna be glorious. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. We find some chuffs. You've never seen a chuff. It's a member of the corvid family. Um, so like crows, magpies, jays, ravens, that sort of thing. Um, but they've got bright red beaks and they're incredibly loud. Uh, the only places I've ever seen them is here in Pembrokeshire, so south coast of Wales. Um, Potentially southwest coast. Apologies to any any people that get offended by uh, my serious lack of geography skills. Um, but yeah, I'd say almost every time you'll hear them before you see them. Um, I'm not going to do the bird call, but it does sound a little bit like a jackdaw. So once you hear that sound and you know you're in the right area. Get your bins out, take a look. If you uh, if you see a red beak, you know it's a chuff. Um, at the moment, they, well, it's about the right time for the young to have fledged. Uh, when I saw them on Monday of this week, there were two parents and three kids. Um, I didn't manage to get any footage there because I was just on a walk without my camera. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed I find some for you and it would be nice. I've never really got good chuff images, so it'd be nice if we get some now, eh? never been to Pembrokeshire you've got to get yourself down here it is it is unbelievably stunning here um, I'll try and give you a look I mean it's also a very very sunny day but the landscapes amazing the wildlife's great I've seen I mean there's stone chats everywhere um, more linnets I've seen in the last three days than I think I've seen in my in my entire life. Um, they've also got Scomer Island, so that's puffins galore, seabirds galore, seals around. Um, I know there's people out there looking for dolphins right next to me. I've not seen any, but I know they're about. Um, peregrine falcon I saw coming over. Um, yeah, it's just magical and. Especially if you come here in the summer, you get all those nesting seabirds and fingers crossed you get weather like this. Glorious.
sunglasses are off. Um, just spoke to some people that were there looking at seals. Um, unfortunately, the seal had disappeared by the time I got my camera out. They've just been looking at um, some peregrines with some juveniles that were messing around on the cliff that's just over here. So let's go find them. I also asked them if, if there was any chuffs around. And they said they'd seen three just about 15 minutes ago. So things are looking good. I've um, just been going around, spending a bit of time, just taking photographs of anything and everything really. The light is a bit harsh, but as I did on SCOMA, I quite like using it as an excuse to underexpose or mess around with some bokeh, bokeh, however you say that. Because um, a few of the birds here are directly in front of the of the ocean, so you can can use the reflections of the ocean to your advantage. Maybe could be to my advantage. I don't know. I've not looked at the photos yet. We'll see how they turn out. But yes, onwards and upwards. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I can't quite get over how glorious this is. I could stay here in this moment forever. Amazing. Um, and I can hear what I believe are peregrine falcons. And I've just seen one flapping. Let me see if I can get some footage. Well, these peregrine falcons are playing hard to get. Um, I've heard them a lot. I have seen one of them do a fairly pathetic flight, so I'm assuming it was juvenile. It just basically launched itself off the cliff, went down a bit, and then is further down the cliff now. But I just can't get to a position where I can get any footage. I'm gonna stick it out for another 10 minutes before I move on. Because I'm aware I've probably only got about an hour and a half left. I've still got to get back. And I've still not seen any chuffs. Um, but peregrine falcons are pretty special, so I'm gonna stick it out for five, 10 minutes. If I get anything, you'll know. Well, it's not been all that successful, uh, photography or videography wise, but I mean, in terms of my day, it has been pretty incredible. That's what I mean, I just love being out here. Um, it's just a shame that I've not managed to, to get you my target species, which was chuffs. Um, as unfortunately, I'm about five minutes away from my destination on the way back, and that destination is fish and chips and a pint. Um, but because I haven't got any photos or footage, what I'm going to do is go out tomorrow morning to a place where I have seen them already this week and fingers crossed, following this piece to camera, I will at least have a photo or some footage of some chuffs to show you. Fingers crossed. If not, then I'll catch you on the next one.
scratch that last video, folks. I lied to you. As I turned around the corner, three troughs were probably about five meters away from me. Uh, I managed to fire off a few shots. I'm a little bit miffed because there was one more shot that I was trying to get and then they flew off. But hey ho, that is the way that this goes. But I still managed to get the best shots of chuffs that I've ever had. It was the best views of chuffs that I've ever had. I didn't manage to reel off any video, but please, please enjoy the best shots of chuffs that this man has ever got. Cheers. and chips and a pint of pale ale with my parents that are paying you can't get much better than that and with that I shall see you on the next one